What's going on guys? This video is going to be all about Fidelity's Active Trader Pro. So this video is going to be a tutorial and an overview of what the Fidelity Active Trader Pro has to offer. Now, this is different than the website. The regular fidelity.com is different than the Active Trader Pro. The Active Trader Pro is a free software for all Fidelity traders. Also, Fidelity offers zero trade fees and also a zero account minimum balance to get started. If you're considering a stockbroker, you may want to check out Fidelity. I have a couple other videos on Fidelity um, and I'll put those in the description below. All right, guys, let's check out Active Trader Pro. So Fidelity Active Trader Pro is a software that you actually have to download and you can download it on PC laptops or desktops or MacBooks. It's not available on mobile devices at this point. And downloading this is going to take about 200 megabytes of data. Okay, so this is the main user face of Active Trader Pro. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here, and that's kind of part of the magic of Active Trader Pro is that you can have a lot of different data sets and data points at once. So this is, again, is for active traders who are looking at multiple types of data or stats to help them trade. So day traders, swing traders, or people who are just uh, actively looking for opportunities to invest their money. So over here to the left, you have quick tabs. So you have your trade tab, which is similar to the website version. You also have your orders, so it shows what you're actually um, looking to buy or what you purchased. Then you have your quotes. So quotes are really just kind of scouting out particular stocks. Then you have a notebook. Some tabs actually bring you to the website and some are unique to Active Trader Pro. Now the cool thing about Active Trader Pro is you really can customize this um, information and you can really X things out and minimize as you need to. Um, you can slide things around. You can change the color links. So let's say I want this color blue is, is something that would grab my eye so I can color coordinate all the different tabs. That's a pretty cool feature. So if you drag these, you can switch the orders. So if I want my news up here, so it gives you a lot of customization. So the, layouts are all over here to the right so if you click layouts you have one two three four default layouts and you can create your own so this one is the market monitor default layout let's see what investor looks like so this is the investor layout the portfolio monitor option trader so if you're trading stock options you need some different data points so we have some information here for you and let's try to create our own layout. So when you want to create a custom layout, it's blank. It's, it's a blank slate. You literally click on different tabs and you click on whatever you're looking to add and it will show up. So let's say I want to do some chart action. So I can move the chart over here. Squeeze that right in. Let's do my watch list. Put that above the charts. Let's do my trade key. Definitely need that handy. And again, you can move it however you want. Let's slide this in, create a little bit more space. stock filters so if I want to find some stocks like a stock screener put that right there Oops. and you can close this side tab and open this side tab and stretch this out a little bit so you can kind of really customize anything you want and it just makes the availability to see the data you're looking for simultaneously all at once rather than a bunch of different web browsers you know this is is a pretty awesome feature for active traders now if you click 
the Stock Research Center, it's going to actually bring you to Fidelity.com. This feature would be by the website only. So if you want to access the stock screener, that's right over here. And I have a video tutorial on Fidelity Stock Screener. I'll put the link in the description below. You can check that out. I also have an overall Fidelity website tutorial. I'll put that as well in the description. Another really cool feature is the options information. So if you're trading stock options, puts or calls, this is a great tool. This is very unique to Active Trader Pro. So you literally can click on all different information that will help you that's unique to options. So let's stick with Disney. So you can see all the information on the calls and the puts and what the current ratios and the prices are. Um, so if you're looking to do stock options, this is an awesome feature for you. So this is something you're definitely going to want to look into um, if, if that's your choice. Now, in, in order to trade stock options with Fidelity, you actually have to apply for it. So there's a little bit of a process in doing that. But this is definitely something that you want to look at if you are doing stock options. you got a whole menu of information that can help you with that. So when you click the, the drop-down menu and you hover over a particular item, it's going to tell you whether it's going to bring you to a new tab, the actual Fidelity.com website. So you, you can see the little decal here, but not here. So if I click any of these with that little uh, web page decal, it's going to bring me to the Fidelity.com. So most of the news and research is going to bring you to another tab, the Fidelity.com, except for the top three. These are going to be features that are an Active Trader Pro. So this is my market information. I definitely want to open my daily dashboard as a, and put that somewhere. And again, if I, if I want to move it, I can move it. And again, anytime you don't want something, if it's in your way, just exit out and it's gone. And then you can add different things. So let's say I want to multi-trade. Got that option in there. What else we got? Trade armor. So you can... Look at all different information. So let's go back to the market monitor layout. Simultaneously, I can see all different information. I can look at all different quotes. Um, I could look at the charts. And it has all the advanced features on the charts. So if I want to look at all the stock indicators, I can do that right here while I have the news to my left. While I kind of uh, can look at the different quotes and I have my watch list going. So I got it all right here. It's really awesome. Um, so I can I can simultaneously look at multiple things while I'm trading. So if you are a day trader or a swing trader uh, and or you're active on stocks, this is a must. And the cool thing about Fidelity Active Trader is it is free. So technically you are supposed to trade 30 to six times in a year. In order to get this for free or you can simply just call fidelity and they'll set it up for you so um, some other features you may use with active trader pro you have a couple different settings you have your help so the learning center this is all the tutorial videos that can really help you bump up your game um, in addition to this video all sorts of legal information if if you're looking to do that it has all the information on the risks and the day trades and all that stuff so you know this is an unbelievable feature um, it's got everything you need that you can access from the website and more and, and again the best part about active trader and really the main reason you would get this is because you can customize and have simultaneous pieces of information at once and data at once so that you can you know make the best trades and also kind of plan for the next trade so you're kind of one step ahead and each of these little boxes has like its own little thing it's it's like a bunch of different web browsers within one so it, it is a pretty cool thing it is free if you have a fidelity account and you're active on fidelity so definitely check this out if you do have a fidelity account if you're thinking about a fidelity account you know i have a couple more videos in the description along with this one and uh you know you can see if this is you know right for you Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.